Well, we're out in the farm today and we are finishing up a hot zone deer exclosure fence here. And I've used these for the last couple of years and for late season, they're game changers. They're awesome. Um, they give your beans or whatever you're protecting a chance to get growing so the deer don't mow them down. So I guess the first thing is you just gotta figure out what area you're gonna protect. And I think the original kit covers about a half an acre. I've, this is a little bigger than that, maybe three quarters, a little bigger than three quarters of an acre here. So once you figure out what you're gonna protect, you just kind of lay your poles out in that half acre and make sure you've got enough um, cable, uh, the wire and the tape. And then once you have that, you put your poles about, um, I usually figure about nine big steps apart is what I try and do. And if, if you look at when you get your kit, you're gonna have two kinds of poles. You're gonna have a big one and a small one. And you'll see that those poles line up with the, each pole has holes in it, lines up. And the other thing they have is a mark on how deep they want you to put that in the ground. There's a black magic marker spot on there. That's how deep you drive them in. Uh, one of the things that's a huge help, get yourself a 30, I don't even know what they cost, 30, 40 bucks for a fence post driver. You'll thank yourself a thousand times. So the big posts are for the corners. They're a little more stable because they get that pressure pulling towards away from them when the, where the two corners meet. And the small posts are for your straight runs in between your corners. And one of the things that I found too is always helpful. I always try and get my holes pointed straight away from the fence. So when I put my connector through, instead of having the connector in line with your fence, it's pointed perpendicular to your fence. So um, it's easier, there's no pressure on that, on that cable through those spots. So as you can see in the fence behind me now, we've already got our, all our posts in. We've got our inside wire in, top wire, and our outside tape in. So on the outside, as you can see, there's five, five holes in each of these posts. On the outside, you wanna put the tape, always goes on the outside of your fence, and it goes through the second hole from the top. And then your two inside cables go in the top hole and the third hole down. And then uh, we'll run all our wires over here to our solar panel and our um, energizer. We'll put our battery on there. We'll show you how we hook that up. And uh, we'll have this thing uh, locked and loaded and hopefully keeping deer out all summer. back at the energizer now we've got all three strands our tape on the outside our two wires on the inside all ran and through all the loops in each pole so what we're going to have at the end here that hooks up to the energizer and it's pretty clearly labeled that they do a nice job um, we're going to have two strands of the tape the thicker stuff and four strands of the wire uh, where everything meets here so what we're going to do then is we're going to run all this stuff back here. We're going to have those six wires. We're going to melt the ends just like we did where we made our junction or our connection and halfway around the, around the uh, fence. And we're going to strand all those six wires together and there's a clip that's clearly labeled that says fence. So that's what our plan is here now. What I'm going to do here makes it, I find it a little easier. I'm taking one side of this bottom and I'm going to tie a loop in it. Let me get it pretty tight. So I've got a loop in it now, and I run that loop right over here to my corner post. So this is the end that I'm gonna end up melting along with the two from the tape. And when we're done, we're gonna have three more of these that I'm gonna run over right now. The one thing you have to do is when you're doing this, you want all these wires to be up and off the ground because the, gr the contact for the shock is the, the ground that's in the wire, so it has to be if a bird lands on this, it's not gonna get shocked because there's no contact with the ground. That's what completes the circuit, so. So there we go. I try and cut everything about the same length. A little easier to melt and twist together. 
So this is what's going to get twisted together. Four wires, two tapes, and we'll hook stuff up to the battery, energizer, and solar charger. And we'll get out of here and we'll determine when the beans are open for business as opposed to the deer eating my beans whenever they want. I did give them the other side of the field. I'm not that stingy.